It's kind of like a, a, a doctor or a physician. If you have a specific problem, you know, and you, you want to go to a specialist, right? And that's what, that's what Diatool offers. Decades of, of reaming knowledge, that's all we do. They're reamers 24-7, 365 days a year. We're here at EMO 2023 on the Diatool stand, and this is all about if you have a critical reaming process, why would you go to a standard cutting tool manufacturer? You need to find a specialist. Now, Scott, first of all, what kind of problems are customers uh, seeing in reaming processes? Why do they ream a component, for example? Yeah, I'd say the number one reason uh, that a customer would choose reaming is to reduce scrap, reduce, eliminate scrap. Let's say they're single point boring now. We can help get a reamer in, into the application and reduce scrap or basically eliminate it. Reduce scrap, and especially when we're talking scrap in components that need really accurate holes. Yes. What kind of requirements uh, the, the parts not meeting, the process not meeting, mean they turn into scrap? Well, it could be uh, oversized bores, undersized bores, maybe poor surface finish. So precise holes that need to be done correctly. Yep. Um, and also needs to be done, I guess, some people are making a lot of components in a day, in a week. Yeah. So it's not just you need to make one hole correct, it's about making thousands and thousands of these holes correct Normally every time. thousands, yeah. So speed is important, accuracy is important, and having a very robust and secure process. And what actually happens when a customer comes to Diesel with a problem? What do you ask them? We ask them a lot. So we, we have a standard questionnaire that we have, but a lot of times with, with the experience that, that most of us have that have been doing this for years and years, we kind of know all the questions to ask. I mean, we want to know about the, the machine tool, the coolant, the fixturing, the pre-reaming processes, obviously the material grade, be it a casting or, or you know, whatever the raw material is. So those are the things we want to know about. And obviously we'd like a part print as well. That always helps. Absolutely. Part drawing, sometimes you can't get those. Exactly. Um, but what happens when people are at, come to you with, I guess most people would ask, as say, come to you and say, Scott, I need to reduce my cost per part. How do I do that? Sure. And what do you say to them? Well, we'd find out, you know, how are you, how are you producing your bore now? You know, what's your, what's your current process? What's your cycle time? And then we can, you know, compare that to, to what we can ream that bore in. And it's normally, you know, like, like we've talked about, six, eight, maybe 10 times faster. Um, now most customers would probably uh, hear this and go, well, yeah, I use a, a standard cutting tool manufacturer. Yep. I go to them for my mills, my end, my end mills, my, sure. my ball noses, my drills. Why would I go, why would I not just go to them for, for a reamer? It's the same yeah. kind of cu cutting tool, sure. right? Well, it's kind of like a, a, a doctor or a physician. If you have a specific problem, you know, and you, you want to go to a specialist, right? And that's what, that's what Diatool offers. Decades of, of reaming knowledge, that's all we do. They're reamers 24-7, 365 days a year. So um, a lot of uh, application experience and a, a lot of options as far as cutting materials, geometries, um, coatings, et cetera. So. And these have got very different kinds of materials. We're not just talking high-speed steel. We're talking carbide with all the latest reaming specialized coatings. Uh, we do a, a lot of Surmet tipped reamers uh, for steels and, and ductile irons. And then we also do PCD tipped for aluminum and, and other you know, non-ferrous materials like that. Yeah. So you can hit lots of different kinds of materials, yep. but these, no matter what the material, no matter what the process, every time, this is generally the last thing they will do to a component. And why is it important that they make sure this last process is good and is going to make a good, a good feature? Well, because they've put all that expense and that cost into the, starting with the, the, the material itself, and then all the machining that they've done up to that point, and then that last boring, reaming app, you know, uh, process, it's critical. I Absolutely. mean, you know, you got to hit it, you got to get it right. And I guess customers are coming to you with generally a few things on their mind. What is the, the biggest thing you need, you hear customers need? I'd say the biggest one would be scrap reduction. Yeah. So how we do that is we study the application and you know specify the, the perfect reamer for that application. The right, you know, the right cutting material, the right geometry, even even a compensation holder to eliminate runout is a, is a could be a critical part of of that in achieving scrap reduction. These, these reamers run much better at, at, at higher speeds and feeds. So, yeah, some, some customers do get a little conservative, and that's maybe based on some past experience with, with more conventional 
slower speed reamers, old what I might call old school reamers, but these reamers want to run super fast. I mean, we're talking 80 meters a minute up to up to 200 meters a minute. So, so it's not just about reducing scrap, you can reduce your cycle times as well. Yes, yeah. What about trying much. to make uh, get the best out of your machine tool and make most out of the sure. time you have with it? Well, that? with the uh, with the security, you know, the, sec the security that the reaming brings to the process and the in the really nice tool life, you've got you've got that machine uptime. So you're getting more more productivity out of, out of your machine tool than you would, let's just say, with single point boring. Perfect. Okay, what's the range that you can offer from okay. Diatool? Okay, so the range that, where Diatool starts is, let's just say, five and a half millimeters up to 225. So a pretty Huge big diameter range. range. Yeah. Um, and I guess you guys do bespoke as well as off the shelf? We do. So we've got some standard H7 tolerance reamers and all the, you know, six millimeters up to 22 millimeters that are in stock. And then we can, we can take the standard bodies that are all in stock. The steel bodies are stocked. We then bra can braze, grind, and ship pretty quickly. Just a bespoke, you know, certain diameter with a, with a plus or minus, let's say, one to two micron tolerance on that reamer. So it's, the reamer's ready to go. When, you, when the customer receives it, no setting required. Put it in the machine and go. Perfect. Specialist reamer for your critical processes, ready to go wherever you are.